What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dusty the Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. In this three-part series, we're going to be installing all of the exterior pieces needed to wrap up the entire outside ahead of moving into the interior and getting the rest of that completed. Now that the polishing is done, we are officially on the downhill home stretch of this. This three-part series is going to be broken up into three areas. We're going to be calling it the electrical area, the plumbing area, and of course all of the aesthetics and the major components. With that, we've got two windows left to install, as well as our AC unit. Of course, all of the aesthetics for vents. We do have the lights, and of course, lots and lots of ceiling for Sikaflex. You can see all of the plumbing to get into it, all of the lights there, and of course the blue trim, all of the wiring, everything needed to wrap this all up and get it completed. So as I said, three-part series, electrical, plumbing, and all of the exterior aesthetics and major components. All right, now that we're talking about the electrical, first and foremost, we got to get power into the trailer so that we can utilize it. I decided to go with the Furion 50 amp 125-250 stainless steel inlet, which I'm going to put here. Before I do that, I do need to trim just a little piece right here, which is going to be quick and simple. We'll get that trimmed up so that we can get this installed and then go ahead and run the cable for the seven pin, which I will show you after that from there. We will install the lights up here so that we can put our reflectors on and of course our antenna and TV antenna and all that kind of stuff up in the roof. So we'll go ahead and switch this over. For the first part, we'll go time lapse just to do a quick trim and then I'll move over back to video, do the explanation of the installations and then of course back to time lapse as I do that work. So without further ado, here we go. Like as is always, we're gonna kick this work off and get this started. Here we go, guys. All right, now that we've got it fitted into place, the idea is to just align it, put the holes in. Once we get the holes drilled, we'll pull back out, put the actual gasket on, and then actually fully mount it. So. I'm just going to put it back in, align it, make sure it looks all nice and square to the front of the trailer. Take a step back, position it just a little more, about right there is perfect. So we'll go ahead and tap these real quick. So here's the seven pin cable for the trailer plug. I ran it right through there. It actually runs right through here. Goes all the way underneath just before the fresh water tank. Comes out right here. I then added and connected an extension cable which then runs to this channel all the way back down. Comes out right here, enters the trailer in here. And of course, you can see that right there. And then we will hook it up.
All right, now that we're gonna install the plumbing, we need to install the city water inlet as well as the freshwater fill port. The way we're gonna do this is obviously these sit flush. So we're going to install Cicaflex on the back side here. And that's going to allow us to give us that wider uh, water tight seal. And then we're gonna use these Weathermax stainless steel pan Phillips sheet metal. They're 10 by a uh, half inch. And we'll install these in here and obviously in these ones as well. So with that, let's go ahead and get that Sika Flex on. We'll get it situated and then we'll come back and install these on the back side for that. All right, so I've got it just enough so that when I apply pressure, it will then come up through. I can clean it up real quick so that it doesn't stick to this too fast uh, before it sets. So here we go. Make sure we're all good. Clean on the outside. Nice and straight. Now, you can see some of it behind here, so that's gonna allow the screws to go in there and be sealed as well. It's nice and straight and I'm going to do opposite down here both those sides seal the last two That one's sealed. Next one. Same thing, we'll put it around here and then screws.
Doesn't have to be pretty, of course. But what we do want Make sure it looks all nice and neat. So, get it all straight. Actually, I'm going to pull this out. And put a little bit more where I need it. Much better. All right, mount those screws. Grab those. Let's grab what I did with them. There they are. There's one. Two, and the last one. Just like that. I'm gonna come in here real quick, clean this up before it dries, and then uh, that should be good. I'll wait till this fully dries. Then I can do a quick clean cut with a X-Acto knife, which will give me the clean look and then be able to peel right off so I don't smear nothing. That's the secret, in my opinion. Instead of trying to wipe it right now, most people would smear this and then kind of ruins the polish and the purpose of that. Wait till it dries, come in, you could cut that out, and it's still got a clean barrier. And then I'll show you a, a cleaner way to do a backup seal on top of this, which we're going to do anyways. So with that, we'll go ahead and continue on with the next plumbing parts. All right, next ones are gonna be the no flush valves for the two grade tanks. Same thing like we just did on the freshwater valves. Seca flex on the back seal. That's what those look like. Put some Seca flex on the back side, two screws. Mount just like that. All right guys, this long awaited video is officially a wrap. You know what else is a wrap? Dusty, the exterior of this trailer is officially completed. That's right, we've wrapped up all of the polishing, we installed all of the electrical going into the trailer, all of the plumbing going into the trailer, all of the aesthetics and accessories, all of the lights, AC unit, the TV antenna, the radio antenna, all of the windows, everything is officially complete. Well, minus that final polish that we will do of the wash and wax at the very very end before we pull out on our very first trip but with that everything is officially complete we are now ready to move into the inside as we continue to race to the finish line to complete this ahead of this summer guys i thank all of the continued support you've been giving me the comments suggestions the questions everything that you've been doing on my instagram and youtube fully appreciate all of it if you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, share it with your family and friends. Until next time, as is always, this is Danny signing out.